providing this wonderful venue uh, in Gloucester City Hall. No uh, better uh, city hall to be in. I also want to thank KPN News for covering this event. We're here to celebrate April as Donate Life Month, to bring recognition of organ and tissue donation and the opportunity to truly help save another individual's lives through that wonderful gift, the gift of life. I do want to bring attention to um, the myths and misconceptions regarding organ and tissue donations. Hospitals' only job is to help save other individuals' lives. Police, fire, EMTs, their jobs is to take an individual from uh, a bad situation to the hospital as quickly as possible. They have no decision-making powers in the organ and tissue donation process. That uh, only comes when, sadly, someone is identified as passing away and they contact the federally designated OPO organ procurement organization and we see if that individual would be a suitable match. Uh, again, organ donation is a very rare occurrence. Um, people can register at any age. There is no age limit. You can also register online at donatelifenewengland.org. That's an opportunity for you to learn more about organ and tissue donation and to register yourself as an uh, organ donor. I've had uh, the great pleasure of knowing Julie for uh, quite a while and she's a wonderful advocate on organ and tissue donation and her husband Jim is a glowing example of the wonderful gift. Um, thank you, Jim. I appreciate you sharing your story. I am very privileged to be here. Uh, 2013, on June 5th, I received a human heart. And um, I'm only here because somebody had the forethought to register as a donor. And when it really sank in what it meant, I cried real tears, realizing that someone was going to die and I want to, you know, every chance I get, I want to thank the, the donor family for having that um, intention. I'm, I would not be here if it wasn't for that. I was in end-stage heart failure, and, and I was on an artificial heart because I wouldn't have lived long enough uh, just to wait. So that family actually saved my life. And I also want to thank, uh, I had a lot of support. Brigham and Women was a wonderful hospital. They took great care of me. But the community, all the cards and the prayers, and uh, I just, I'm glad to have a chance this morning to, to thank the community. And also, just, you know, if it helps, if you've been thinking about making this decision or know somebody, um, it does save lives. And uh, so, Thank, I want to thank them again, thank, thank all of you. And uh, it's, I haven't felt this good probably in my whole entire adult life because of birth defects. But uh, the future, <laughs> future looks great now. So thank you again. Um, we're very fortunate. We actually, this community, um, about five years ago, um, we had two lives. Um, Jackson and JJ Nicastro that brought awareness. If it wasn't for those two little boys, one is past and one is still with us, we wouldn't have all this awareness. We did a wonderful thing. We passed a bill, and that's because of that bill. We have someone here. It's kind of nice when you know that we're doing something and we're saving lives, but it's kind of nice because this community saves lives every day. Because of five years of a bill with um, Greg Berger's father back then actually helped pass that bill with Senator Tyler, so I want to thank your father also. It's a special moment. So today, for the city of Gloucester, it's my honor, um, the Office of the Mayor and the Proclamation. Whereas there are more than 123,000 Americans with more than 5,000 in New England and more than 3,000 in Massachusetts who are currently waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. And whereas, there are over a million life-enhancing tissue transplants each year that are made possible by generous donations of corneas, bone, skin, or other tissue. And whereas we can all help to save someone's life and benefit up to 50 recipients by signing up to become an organ and tissue donor by enrolling in the Massachusetts Donor Registration, we can apply for a renew a driver's license by registering online at www.donatelifenewengland.org. And whereas, as Massachusetts is the home to the pioneer efforts of many of the world's first organ transplant surgeons, it is fitting that Massachusetts continues to unique leadership role and join the national goal of signing up 50% of our driving population to become donors and is dedicated to making it fast and easy to sign up to save a life. 
through our registered motor vehicles. And whereas this audience pays tribute to organ and tissue donors and their families whose decision to donate life enables others to receive life-saving organs and tissues are transferred. Now therefore I, Safathi Romeo, taken may I do hereby proclaim April 2015 to be Donate Life Month and urge all citizens of Gloucester to be aware of this event and participate in the offerings given by the signature and the seal of the City of Gloucester this 21st day, April 2015. Safathia Romeo taken, Mayor. These events really bring light and help educate individuals to think about organ tissue donation, learn more about it, and when they do go every four years to renew their license, to check yes on organ tissue donation. Awesome.